Hey friends, how's it going today? Hey, I want to talk with you some, about something that happened to me uh, in the last week or so. Let's, let's say that. I'm not going to tell you where it happened because I don't think it's very important. Um, but it's something I want you to think about. Something, something that's kind of new. Um, I was at a bar with a good friend of mine. We're both black. And like it is in a lot of places that I go to, a lot of places that black people go to in Portland, we were like the only black guys there, the only black people there. And um, it's kind of weird. While we're there and hanging out, everybody's having a good time. Everybody is, you know, with their friends or their family or whatever. And, you know, having our drinks and doing what you do when you go to a bar. You know, everybody, you, when you go to a bar, you go to a bar to have a good time. There's this table. There's about six guys over there. They're all young. They're all, I don't know how old they were, but I've had to guess. They probably range between 21 or 22 and 26 or 27. In other words, all of the guys at this table were guys young enough to be my kid, even though they obviously weren't my kid. I mean, <laughs> I'm a black guy. <laughs> anyway, what was interesting was how they were communicating with each other. Now, they didn't see what I'm about to tell you, they didn't do it very much, but they did it. And during their conversation, talking about their friends that they were with sometimes and friends that weren't there, I'm assuming, there were times they used the N-word. Like, hey, that nigga and I, we go way back, way back, fifth grade, sixth grade. I'm not going to get into all the details of their conversation, but it was weird. There's only two black guys in the whole place. That was me and this other guy. Guy I grew up with. Um, and the rest of the place in the bar was pretty much white. There was no stress. There was nothing going on. These guys were talking to each other. And when they used the N-word, they used the N-word like I hear black people, like you've probably heard black people use a zillion times. You know, it was like a kinship. Uh, that's my nigga. You know, that nigga and I, we go way back, way back. Oh my God, I love that nigga. It was nothing derogatory. They weren't referring to me or the other guy. They weren't referring to anybody black as far as I've gotten, you know, from what I could get from their conversation. There were just six young white people out having drinks, having a good time, talking about good times, creating good times. It was something I've done all my life since I was 21. Well, actually since I was 18, but that's a different time. So the bartender comes over to us. She is, I think, concerned and offended, but I think what I picked up in her, her voice was concern. She was wondering how comfortable me and my friend were. And um, she asked us, are you guys okay? You know, I'm you know, with everything, I mean, you guys, these guys are over there saying the N-word. And uh, you know, I said, no, I'm okay. They're not talking to me. Actually, I don't even think they're talking about other black people. They're calling each other and stuff, you know, the N-word. Something that I've heard black guys use all my life. Literally, all my life. I've got cousins on my Facebook that when they, they use it all the time. So... That's a word that I've not used. You know, the way my mother and father and grandparents raised me is, I don't use that word. I can't say I've never said that word, but I've never said it as a, it's not part of my, my vocabulary as far as the normal. I mean, I cuss and I love cussing, but I don't use that word. And, um, but it was just odd. You know, I'm just sitting there and I'm watching these young people, these white people, use the N word like black guys use the n-word. Black people use the n-word. And they didn't use it very much, friends. It wasn't like it was every second word or nothing like that. And really, most of the time I was there, I didn't hear, I mean, I didn't sit there and pay attention to every word they say, but friends, you know this. You know as black guys do this. When we hear the n-word, just hearing it, it's like, automatically, in, in, in antennas pop up, you know what I mean? You, you gotta worry if, you know, things are gonna get naughty, if you know what I mean. But it's weird. I was thinking, you know, here we got a 
good vibe going. Nobody's bothering anybody. Everybody's having a good time. There was no drama that night. Like, it is no drama 90% of the time you go to a bar. There's no drama. Everybody's just hanging out with their friends, hanging out with new friends, hanging out with old friends, whatever. There was nothing going on. And these guys, they weren't talking to me. They weren't talking to my friend. And to my knowledge, we're the only two black guys in that bar. They weren't paying attention to us. I don't even know if those guys knew we were there. They were talking to each other. So I told them, just leave them alone. Unless they come over here and start bugging us, don't worry about it. Don't, don't cause any, any, you know, any problems. And she didn't. She didn't say nothing to them. And really, they didn't use it that much. They were really just using it in a conversation form, talking about people they cared about. That's the issue. They weren't using that word as a word of a, you know, offense or intimidation. It was like how black people use it. How I like to say we use it. When, when black people use it, most of the times I see it, it's kinship. Even when we're angry. That nigga did this. That nigga's my buddy. That nigga, you know, whatever. Well, black people don't say buddy, but that nigga's my homie. Or that nigga, is, you know, is, is fam. You know what I'm talking about? That's how they were using the word. They weren't using that word trying to intimidate anybody. And they weren't using that word as a joke. You know, like a lot of white people have in the fat past, you know, where, hey, where did you get that nice watch? Well, I stole it off a dead nigger. No, it wasn't all, anything like that. These guys, it's obviously, I don't know how long they've known each other. Hell, for all I know, they could have been brothers and cousins. They were using it like I've seen black people use it all my life. So, the bartender didn't say nothing, at least I didn't notice him say anything. I don't think anybody said anything to them. They were off on their in, in their corner in their in their uh, table doing their thing, and so anyway, the reason I'm doing this video, I, I talked about this with a few of my friends. I told them, I said, guess what I said? Because friends, this is like a twilight moment for me. I'm 54. If somebody had told me when I was 24 that when I was 54, white guys in friendship <laughs> would be calling each other the N word. I would have said that would be weird to see. I mean, and ask, and I think all of you would be with me. At least I think. Maybe you guys have seen more than, in this world than I have. But I'm doing this video because I want to ask you guys: What would you have done if you had been me, sitting in that bar, enjoying a beer, talking to an old friend, having a good time, and we all had a good time? When I say we all had a good time, there was no drama that night. What would you have done? Would you have gone over and talked to the boys? Tried to use it as a teaching moment? Would you have been offended and gone over to the boys and said, Hey guys, I don't like you using that word. Because I'm not telling you, I like them using that word. But the issue is, they weren't using that word, not just not at me. They weren't even using that word toward black folks. It wasn't like they were saying, I hate those niggas over there. And that's another thing, guys. They were using the A, not the er. But trust me, I was looking for it. They used the A, not the ER. And they were talking, like I said, I've heard God knows how many black folks some use it over the years. Nobody in my close family, like my dad never used that word. My mother has never used that word. Honestly, I can't ever remember my mother using that word at all, even trying to talk to me about that word. I don't think my mother used that word. My family doesn't use that word. My sister, my brother, I don't think I've ever heard my sister use that word ever. My sister's 48 years old. I don't think I've ever heard my sister say that word. It's not a word that my family uses even when we're talking about other black folks, good or bad. But these white kids were using it. And I just thought that was just the weirdest damn thing I have ever seen in my life. Um, those of you who know how I am about my grandfather, it was definitely one of those times I wish I could be sitting, <laughs> sitting next to my grandfather saying, Granddad, guess what I saw? Because I'm sure he would have something wise to say about it. But anyway, guys, the bottom line is we didn't cause any beef. We told the bartender to leave him alone. Unless they come talking to us or start using it toward black people, just leave him alone. And really, they didn't say it that much. I mean, I was there for about two hours. And after I noticed them saying it that little bit of time, I did not notice. I mean, granted, I wasn't paying attention to them every second. But I didn't hear them use that word again. Can't say they didn't because I wasn't involved in their conversation but I didn't hear them say it more than two or three times and when they said it 
they were saying to each other and about each other. So what would you have done? That's my question to you. Would you have said something? Would you have asked the bartender to have said something? What's the appropriate way to handle a situation like that in your opinion? And this is a, a question I'm throwing out to all of my friends, regardless of your background. And also, I'd like to know, have you ever had a moment like that? Have you ever seen a group of white folks? In this case, for me, it was six white guys. I don't know how old they are, but just from looking at them, I don't think any of them were older than maybe, I don't think not one of them was 30. I think they all range between 21, 22, and maybe, you know, 25, 26, 27, something like that. I think they were all young folks. And I may be wrong. There could have been a 30-year-old, but I just don't think so. I just don't think I'm de I was dealing with anybody close to, you know, maturity. I mean, you're, you're mature when you're in your 20s, but you understand what I'm talking about. These are young people. I, I felt, hell, I may know their mothers and fathers for all I know. And that's another reason why I told, you know, my, my friend and I said, we well, you know that for all we know, and that we may know their parents. <laughs> you know, we may know their parents. We don't want to cause any problem. We're having a good time. We're having our drinks. One of my favorite bars. I'm not going to tell you which one. But I'm really curious, friends, how you would have handled a situation like that black or white and feel free to be honest guys feel free to tell me what you think good bad or ugly if you were in a bar in portland oregon having a good time with your with whoever you're with even if you were alone and you heard you a, a group of guys at a table using that word especially white guys white guys using that word as a form of kinship or friendship not as a instrument to intimidate. You understand what I'm talking about? Because there's a big difference. Those guys had a good time hanging out with each other. And um, like I said, the bartender was willing to say something, I think, and, and she may have for all I know. She really may have. I didn't notice. That's how chill this whole situation was. Just went right back to the conversation with my buddy and we had a good time talking, bullshitting and stuff, having our, our beers. And, you know, they left before I did. And, uh, you know, I don't think they left because of us. I mean, they were, you know, from, what, from my vantage point, it was just six guys enjoying being with each other. Something we all have done from time to time. And uh, in hindsight, I kind of wish I had talked to them because I'd love to know, <sighs> know more. You know, you always get questions after everything's over with. You know, the shock sometimes get in your way. But friends, I'm really curious. What would you have done if you had been in any bar in Portland, Oregon, or any place, and something like that went down? What do you think is the appropriate response up for, for, for you, and I want you to think about this, from a black person? Because I do take that word seriously, friends. That's why I think I noticed it. You know, when you hear that word, you know, your, your ears go up real quick. What would you have done? Would you have said the same thing that I did to say, hey, leave them alone? They're not talking to anybody black. There was nobody black but me and this other guy to talk to anyway. They weren't saying it in a derogatory way. Like, I hate niggas. Or that nigga's going to get his ass kicked. No, they were talking about each other. In a form of kinship. Like we've heard in rap songs. Like we've heard other black people say. For years. For years. Anyway, love to hear your, your viewpoint. Feel free to be as honest as you, as you want, friends. I mean... I'm looking for opinions and then don't worry whether I or anybody else agrees or disagrees with you okay anyway look forward to hearing what you think talk to you soon